Welcome back to another video. We are in the Psychic Cup, which is the Great League Edition. So today, let's see what we're going to be featuring. Here, we're going to be running the Galarian Rapidash and Broxish and Slow King Galarian form. So we switch on to the kind of a safe switch of the Broxish and it looks like we're going to go for the Psychic Fang here to basically debuff our opponent and have these fights do even more damage than it already is. Our opponent thinks about what to do here and let's see what they are gonna throw. They're gonna come in with their Rapidash. So basically now we're just gonna go for this Aquatel just to do some damage. Neutral damage goes through. Our opponent ends up throwing a move. We let it go. Um, we're gonna come back in with the Rapidash because we know that we can get to this Body Slam before they can get to a um, Mega Horn. So we're gonna throw this Body Slam. I think they have a Big Teeny here. Yeah, Big Teeny came back in. And then now we have a Shield Advantage. So this is GG's because we're just gonna have to um, shield these. And every time they do a V Create, it's, it uh, severely decreases their defense. We know we can survive one, so we let that one go. And now this is just a um, shield and farm down and throw all this energy back at the uh, pony top. Here, this surf goes through. Let's see if our opponent shields or decides to just let it go. Okay, our opponent, our opponent ends up playing it through and we are able to get to another surf. And that is finally GG's right there. Kind of a kind of an interesting team here. Psychic Cub, Psychic Cub for right now seems pretty wild in the sense that uh, it's a very small meta, I believe. I mean, you're gonna see um, kind of the, the same rotation of stuff, um, but we'll see what happens with the meta. Here we have the Bruxish safe switch again. Our opponent comes back in with the Alolan Raichu. This Raichu, or sorry, excuse me. They had the Raichu and they're gonna come and counter with the Rapidash. This Rapidash is able to get to this Body Slam to take us out. And now we have a decision to make. Do we come in with the Ponyta or do you come in with the Slow King, which is going to be resisting the fast moves of Fairy Wind? Here, our opponent ends up throwing the Mega Horn, which we correctly shielded. And then now we're going to allow this next Body Slam to go through. It does less damage. We have a ton of energy with this Slow King right now. And. If they come back in with that Raichu, we have a move ready to, to throw at them here. We throw this Surf. Our opponent correctly doesn't shield it. And both of us were trying to catch moves, so that was interesting. Here, we know that this is um, most likely the Thunder Punch. It could have been it could have been Wild Charge, but we didn't think that they would debuff themselves. And then here, uh, we have to go for the Shield and then... We're just going to go do some damage. It does take out the Raichu, which is great. Here, we are going to throw this Body Slam here. Try to get this last shield, which is exactly what we do. This Rapid Dash is going crazy right now. Absolutely getting to all those moves to get the shield, plus doing chip damage. And right there, we won with the Shadow Ball because we had it stored up in the pat in in the from the past and that is gg's right there so kind of a wild kind of a wild um situation a lot of moves that do you know just enough that you cannot really um shield but then again if you don't shield it's a potential farm down opportunity for stuff in the back um a lot of these moves don't necessarily one hit ko even with the super effective move but you like barely survive and then you can gain energy for the next so in this situation it's the same thing mega horn would do a huge damage but then you, you run the risk of um being farmed down so we we decided to shield this body slam because we have the energy advantage and then we force out the switch out so our opponent ends up switching out we come in with our brushes here and we're looking, we're looking for them to throw an inefficient serve, which is exactly what happens. 
this uh prompt us to go for this aqua tail to take it out so oh it doesn't take it out my bad will this surf take it out no so kind of a kind of a weird situation right there not only do our move not take it out but their move also didn't take us out so that was really good that we didn't shield any of that because that would have been a waste here we know that this body slam doesn't quite KO and whoa this is a spicy clay doll here this clay doll is going to be able to throw um super effective fast moves which are it looks like mud slaps uh and it's able to survive one body slam right there well they decide to shield this body slam okay so they do decide to shield that body slam and we're trying to get to another move but unfortunately their fast moves are just too um hard hitting with with the damage the clay doll is kind of a you know counter to all of these poisons um here we're gonna go switch in with the bruxes and our opponent ends up staying in maybe they're deciding to throw one v create and dip we know that we can survive one and then our opponent ends up coming in with the rapid ash so they're kind of revealing that this uh bruxes is pretty good against our team luckily for us we do cmp tie so we do get the shield and they throw move right here we go in with the rapid dash because we don't want this rapid dash to be paired up against their um victini so we, we decided to come back in with the rapid dash to either just do chip damage or let it go down so once again another pokemon with the sliver of health which is a opportunity to farm down and then now here we're just going to put everything on the line everything is on the line with the slow king here comes the victini we know that they already threw one v create and they're they're at, already at another v create okay and now our opponent brings the slow bro shadow slow bro this one here we're gonna go for the shadow ball just to force him to either shield or have it ko'd because of his shadow version and then now here we're just going to be able to go to this surf because we do have a shield we, all we have to do is just shield this v create and then we already add a surf so that is ju juice to our opponent right there um for me the bruxes was the mvp um it was a pretty good safe switch in my opinion for now of course the meta is going to change and we'll see what um other things are going to pop up but for right now this team here pretty solid we're we're seeing oh there we go and there's the uh slow king slow king does pretty good against our rapidash and we we have a slow king so we don't want to switch in oh we should have shielded right there but honestly it was a 50 50 call this is going to be a tough situation because now we have to come in with our slow king now we have to call another situation we do call the bait which is what we want on the first try but unlucky for us this slow king has done um crazy work for our opponent not only taking out our brux but also taking our own slow king down to way low health so they clearly have the advantage well done by them they they actually let the um uh, sorry they let the rapid dash go through and they actually have the slow bro in the back so this is looking very bad for us unless we can get both these shields down right now this slow bro is running the poison jab so he's doing super effective fast move damage our opponent ends up throwing the surf and here we're just going to try and get to multiple body slams because that's the only way we're going to win this game here Unfortunately for us, they were already at two serves, so this is going to be a juju's. And we're not going to be able to get to another move. We do get to this surf here, but it's not going to be enough. We we are, we, are, we are a little bit outplayed right there, so nice play by my opponent. Check out this team if you haven't already, and let us know if you enjoy the video.